Hi, welcome to this last video of the things you can do on skillcompass.org, an example of what you can do with the skill compass modules. Uh, in this last video I'm going to show you how to create uh, collections, resource collections, and also how to work with you know, creating new relations between topics and also add uh, new topics to the site. Uh, so we've seen uh, before, let's see, this is my test account and I've now got a lot of points, so I now have a new option in my navigation list here. I can create resource collections, not only external learning resources, but resource collections. And these work uh, just like other, well, the external resources. Uh, I add some kind of title, my collection, some description. This is my description. Um, and then I start listing learning resources like, like this and like this. I start typing and I get a suggestion, suggestions of what I could add here. This could be a pretty lengthy uh, process. So instead you can do uh, uh, collect stuff in your quick list that you want to uh, create a collection from. And then you can go to my account to the quick list tab here where you can manage your quick list. Here it is and if this is for resources I, I found good and I want to have in my course or something I'm doing Drupal training or whatnot I can create a collection from the selected resources and I can also if I want to remove them from the quick list if I just added them because I wanted to make a collection then that makes sense. Next and I wow and it only gives me one here. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so that's a bug I have to fix. Um, but it should it should have all the uh, four resources down here. That's strange, actually. Um, and then I just fill in the rest here. Title, description. You have to enter a topic here. Uh, so one or more topics that uh, where this uh, uh, collection should be listed. And you can, as previously, as before, um, uh, list Drupal projects here. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you add resource collections. It's not, it's not a difficult thing, just straightforward process. And then there is something other that's pretty interesting here. If we have, say, I don't know, we, I'm going to pick a, a topic here. Like before, we could, uh, uh, I, I can vote up and down on the uh, relations between topics, but now I can also um, add new topics. So I can say that, uh, what's this? This is theming basics. I might think that this is a part of uh, site building basics, basic site building. And then I can include this topic in another topic. And then that relation is added and uh, my vote is added to it, so we can see down here theming and then basic site building. I'm going to vote down because I don't think this makes sense. I can vote up on this one as well. I can similarly add new required topics for, for the topics I'm doing. Yeah, uh, let's see if I go to, this is my Firefox browser, if I go into people here, I'm going to award my test user a lot more points. Let's see, edit here. Down here, this is this field is blocked for ordinary users. I'm going to give this user 1,500 points. Crazy. Now uh, he or she has a blue belt as well. If I go back here and reload, I should have... Yeah. Now I can now create topics as well. That's kind of the final level uh, on skillcompass.org. Kind of the final level. If you do that, you can create a new topic, my topic, my test topic, even some description goes here. Description goes here. Save. And this is very short form, as you see, because when you added it and saved it, you want to uh, include it using these uh, add, add relation boxes. Like this could be directly related to Drupal, for example, including another topic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we can see here, we have now my test topic included in the tree. Um, yeah, and that's it. 
Um, that's kind of how you use uh, skillcompass.org. Um, and I hope you kind of find it useful and I hope you get an idea of how it works and how you might want to use it yourself in the future. Uh, yeah, that's it. Have fun. Bye.